A lot of people ask me, why do you use a pen name? Where does Simon Black even come from? It started in 2007, and I fell in with some guys who had a, a, a boutique publishing company there writing investment newsletters, primarily about uh, mining and uh, oil and gas and energy and things like that. And I met the founder actually in a uh, hotel restaurant in Panama, uh, of all places. And we got along incredibly well right from the beginning. We clicked. and. And he said, you know, you should, uh, you know, you should write for me. We were doing a lot of the same things. I was traveling around the world. Uh, I was in Panama at the time. I was starting a business there and, and all sorts of different things. And I traveled so many places and was just into a lot of different interesting deals. And they said, why don't you come and you can write something for us about your experiences traveling, international business, international investing. And I said, sure. And, and uh, my partner at the time, you know, we went and, and met with these guys. And they said, well, you're just coming out of the intelligence business. And so that's really cool and sexy and you should use an alias, just like in the intelligence business. And I'm thinking, well, that's not really how it works in the intelligence business, but I guess I understand that's how people think it works. So, okay, that's fine. And, and I remember the first one that I came up with, he said, you, give me an alias, come up with an alias. The first one I came up with was Vincent Bari. And the guy said, no, it sounds like my barber. What else you got? And the next one I came up with was Simon Black. Black was actually my uh, grandmother's mother's maiden name. So it was a little bit of a, a family history and I don't know where I came up with Simon. And the reality is, if I knew this was gonna last, this, this was in 2007, so that's been many years ago. And if I'd known it was gonna last this long, I would have made a different decision. Back then I was uh, just getting started and I think probably a lot more concerned about privacy, that the things that I was saying or would be saying were, would be considered way too controversial and, and I felt like it was necessary to hide behind an alias, uh, I don't give a shit. I'm not afraid of my opinion. I'm not afraid of what people think of my opinion. And the reality is the things I think that we talk about now are not controversial at all. If I think about the things that we discussed even as far back as 2007, 2011, 2015, what were we saying? We we're saying there's too much debt in the United States and, and frankly the Western world in general that you know, there's too much money printing going on. There's going to be problems with the currency. There's going to be some problems with banks. We were talking about banking problems as far back as 2016, right? These are not controversial topics anymore. We were talking about social chaos. We were talking about so many things that we see on the front page of the newspaper every single day. And so, uh, so my real name is James. And uh, a couple of years ago, we made a decision to say, let's just drop this whole Simon thing and go with James. And so that's, that's where it came from.